Hello and welcome to more Cave Story. We ended off in this little room right here in the egg corridor after being this giant rabbit boss thing. And also by request, we are going to be trying out the original graphics and the original music this time. Leave some comments down below. Let me know if you guys would like me to con uh, continue the game in this graphic and music style or the remastered. And I don't know, we'll, we'll figure that out. But let's play an episode with this. So let's go inside this door and continue on. Egg number zero. Let's go interact with this computer here. Flying dragon egg number zero. Hatching preparations complete. Input password. Am I supposed to know the password? Did I get the password last episode and I forgot it? Please don't tell me this is the case. All right, if I'm not mistaken, which I might be, I think we're actually done with the egg corridor and we have to go back to the town now. So I'm gonna go back. Hope that's not the completely wrong way to go. And we'll see if that can continue the game for us here. Oh no, I leveled down my gun. This is bad. This is real bad. Well, I'm down to half health right now. A lot of people are saying that I what I should do is I can kill the guys with one gun and then switch to the other gun and grab the experience with that one. And that way I can kind of balance out my weapon experience. But I don't know, I kind of like this little main pistol thing. Oh, we can get a heart right there. Heal me back up, buddy. There we are. So yeah, I could, I could use the missiles more. I'll probably experiment with them more a little bit later, but for now, I'm kind of digging my blasters. Ooh, more health, more health. Give me that. Let's see if I can get this without getting hit by that evil one-shot guy. I've died so many times. I didn't really put it in the video that much, but last time I died like four times of that thing. So I kept bonking my head on the ceiling and falling right into him. And that guy hurt me a little bit, but I think with those hearts, yep, we're back to full, so we're good. We're just gonna keep going. Oh gosh, let's just jump and shoot. Okay, I don't remember how long this place goes on, but I really hope that backtracking like this is what I'm meant to be doing. I hope there wasn't like some portal that I could have taken that was super obvious, but I probably chose a really bad point to end the episode, kind of like in the middle of a transition. I probably should have gone back to town first if that's what I had to do. But we'll just keep going. We're at egg number 10. I think it went up to 16 if I'm not mistaken. So we're, we should almost be out of here. Oh, okay. Let's run from the fly, dudes. We can kill these guys no problem now since we got the level three gun. These guys actually were a little bit tough. I mean, nothing here was particularly tough, but those elephant guys or whatever those are took a few hits with the level one weapon back when we got, first got here, but now not a big deal. Oh, do I want to get whatever that is? Hold on. Get out of here, buddy. Okay. Watch out for that little white thing moving back and forth. Oh, that's just the tip guy, right? He's just giving us some tips. So we're gonna drop back down. Let's go through the portal. And yeah, let's go back to Arthur's house and see if that's what we have to do. Cause I think at the end of the last episode, we talked to Sue and then I think she went home and I think we're supposed to follow her here and she usually stays at Arthur's house. So starting an IM chat, Sue, Kazuma, are you there? You okay? So I guess Kazuma and Sue are buddies. Sue, is that really you, Sue? Yeah, it's me, Sue Sakamoto. Ah, oh, crud, I skipped the dialogue there. So you were able to escape too. Where are you at now? I found the dragon eggs. Is mom with you? So she's involved with the dragon eggs somehow. The door is jammed and I can't get out of here. I'm still in a shelter looking sort of room. By the way, the code that you need to teleport is Bushlands. Try searching from your end. Okay, so we've got to remember the code Bushlands. Maybe that's what we have to put into the egg corridor. Probably not. And no, mom isn't with me. I'm afraid she still might be with the doctor. Are any of the flying dragon eggs about ready to hatch yet? I think two of them were. I found one that's almost ready to hatch, but it's locked up with a password. Can we do something about that? Retrieving information for Kazuma. Okay, so we might get some info on this password here. Complete! Bushland structure D. Uh, currently searching for functional teleporters, preparing connection with bushlands. Anyhow, I'm on my way to go help you. Just stay right there. I think you should stay left there. Roger that. And do me a favor, bring some food back on your- Whoa! Sue has disconnected. Aw. I guess that guy's not getting his food. Is that boy ready yet? Uh-oh. Welcome back. I've been waiting. Now what? I'm busy. Toroko has been taken to the doctor. We've been hearing a lot about this doctor. I'm not sure if it's like a Doctor Who type thing, but we'll see. And we're holding you responsible for this. Uh-oh. It's all Sue's fault. Let go of me! Okay, well, we're in Arthur's house, just coming out of the teleporter. Thankfully, we missed that little awkward scene there. Let's go talk to this guy. Welcome back. Sue has returned. We locked her up inside a cage at the top of the top village. Up uh, top the village. Oh. When the doctor's gang comes, we'll give them Sue in exchange for Toroko. I feel bad for Sue, but Toroko, she's one of us. We don't need someone like Sue who only thinks of herself and no one else. All right, I guess they've got, like, uh, loyalty to their own people. But we got our stuff refilled there. I guess we'll drop down to save. And let's go see if we can talk to Sue and see what's going on here. Yep. 
Well, we're back in Mimiga Village, but it's just gonna show us this directly. Let me out of here now! Shut up! Toroko was taken by mistake because of you. One way or another, I'm handing you over to them. I hate you! If Toroko isn't safe, I'm gonna tear you apart. Alright, let me go up top and see if we can break up this little uh, altercation here. All the way to the top, little dude. And there we go. Hey, let her go! Oh, let's talk to him. This is what happens to those who defy the order of the village. I've been caught. The doctor's men mistook another Mimi got for me and kidnapped her instead. That girl Toroko, she treated me so well when I had trouble getting used to everything. I have an idea. You can go in my place! My brother Kazuma is stuck in an area called Bushlands. Bring him back here. So we've got to go to the Bushlands somehow. Question is, how do we get there? Let's go look at the sign. I don't think the sign points to anywhere like that. No, does not appear to. Let me talk to her one more time and see if she's got any extra dialogue for us. Nope. Oh, there we go. You can go there with the teleporters inside Arthur's house. There we go. So that's how we get there. Let's go back to Arthur's house and check it out, guys. Okay. Uh, back to the portal. I guess we don't need to save. Oh, so many triangles in this game. Okay. Portal. It's a teleporter. Let's go to Bushlands. Teleport to Bushlands. Heck yeah. I just want to shoot some things. Let's go kill stuff. Yeah. Uh, we're in the Bushlands. There's another Mimiga. I'm not sure if that's an important one, but we'll talk to him at least. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, I could talk to him. Hello, my name is Santa. Okay, well, we've got one named Santa here. I went to get some water and was attacked by those monsters. So I ran back home, but I dropped my key on the way back. Now I can't get into my own house. I'm guessing this is the house they can't get into. Yep, it's locked. Santa's house. Oh, Santa, I would like some presents, please. I, just, I don't even know what I would ask Santa for. What the? Hold on, we gotta go up there. There's a guy in a frog suit up there. We've gotta go talk to him. How's it going, buddy? Oh, you're a soldier from the surface. Hasn't the war ended already? No matter. If you want to venture any further, be mindful of those big blue critters. They'll try to crush you. Okay, well, watch out for crushing defeat. Oh, are these the thing he's talking about? I guess they start to fly now, so they are getting more advanced. Oh, maybe he's talking about those. And if I could not get hit, that would probably... Oh, help me survive a little bit. Not doing the best here. There we go. Give me those hearts. Uh, I actually do need the experience because I lost a little bit there. Uh, you know what? How did I switch weapons? I forgot. There we go. Let's let's uh, use the missile launcher a little bit more. Ooh, look at that crud. Uh! Yeah, it's a little bit harder to aim, but it's definitely worth it if you can land those shots. And this is only level one. We gotta level this thing up. So I think what we'll do is the plan you guys were telling me. We'll kill stuff with this, and then we'll get the experience with the missile launcher. Oh, if I could stop losing experience with it, that'd be cool as crud. Okay, there we go. Let's switch over. Grab some experience. And we got the key here, obtain Santa's key. So we'll go back and see if we can help Santa out there, but I wanna kill a couple more things first. Ooh, almost level two there. Let's see if I can get level two before we go back. Oh, yes! Oh, I grabbed a little bit of experience there, but... Well, we've got bigger missiles now. I don't know if they actually home in or if they do anything fancy. Ow! Well, just leveled down my weapon. That's not exactly what I was trying to do. Well, we're back to level two at least. Okay, so we've got the key. You know, let's just go back before I get myself killed. I am kind of, I'm okay with the regular gun, but once I start doing the missiles, I'm not very good at aiming. Well, let's give Santa their key back. Oh, that's the key to my house. Return Santa's key. Thank you. Do you have presents inside? I could go for a toy. Maybe like a toy airplane. Please come over. I have something nice for it. Oh, wouldn't it be weird if Santa gave me cookies? Uh, well, we can save and heal in here. That's, that's always refreshing. Do you want to save? Sure. And the cool thing is the save points, or the heal points actually, they seem to restore your missiles too, so we could probably be pretty wasteful with those and it'll be fine. Thanks again for the help earlier, I'd like to give you something. We get a fireball. How do you give someone a fireball? Are you looking for someone? I haven't seen anyone around here, but if you plan on going further in, you'll need to go through the fireplace inside Chaco's house. Okay, we might have to go back for that. Let's explore this area a little bit more first though. So we've got a fireball, I guess that is a weapon? Yes, the fireball is a weapon. Wow. Out of Santa, I would have expected like a snowball, not a fireball. This weapon's pretty cool. I guess it just kind of drops and rolls along the ground. I'm digging it. Let's play around with it. Let's see if we can get it to level two and see if it'll do anything fancy. Oh. I guess you can't shoot more than two bullets at a time. I actually noticed that with the main gun too. You can only shoot two bullets at a time. Although the bullets disappear pretty fast, so it, se it feels like you can shoot it really fast, but in reality, you can only shoot two bullets at a time. Okay, we've got a lot of experience I want to grab before it disappears. There we are. Ooh, almost level three. So it's got fireballs right now. It's doing six damage per shot instead of four. It's 
pretty good. There we go, level three. And now we've got some blue balls right here. What are these gonna do for me? Are they hitting for eight? Let's see if they hit. Oh, they're still up for six. I'm not sure what the difference is now. Maybe they just go faster. Oh, I can shoot three of them. There you go. That's a pretty big change. Oh, we can't quite get that guy. But we've got a little path down here. I guess it's a trap. I don't want to go inside. If I could just actually hit the bats. Thank you. Yep. Yep. I should have known. You have died. Want to retry? Sure. You know what, guys? Gosh. You know what? Let's go get our fireball, and let's go back and go try to go through Chaco's house. There's probably some more treasure we could get here, but I am too dumb to avoid spike pits. All right. I clearly did not think this one through because I confused Chaco's house with the assembly hall. I just remember the fireplace from the assembly hall, so I thought that was it, but... I don't know. We'll, we'll find Chaco's house in some place. Let's go back to the bushlands. I'm sure there's a lot more to do there, so let's go do that instead. I don't know why I thought that the, the uh, fireball did less damage to begin with. It, it does six to begin with, so even at level one, it seems to do six. So I guess the extra damage or the extra levels... No, it does do four. Okay, maybe it does six when you hit multiple times. I think that when you uh, hit the same enemy multiple times, instead of showing multiple numbers, the one number just kind of adds up to more. So I think that might be what's happening. But these bats are like the biggest pain in the butt. Let's just grab this experience. We don't necessarily have to kill every single enemy, so let's just kill what we can and, well, be sad that we leveled down there. Okay, let's grab all these. Get back to level two at least and get some health. I took a lot of damage from that guy. Let's see if I can sneak around this and try to jump up there. Oh, almost got it. Oh, oh gosh. I got a position just right. I've got this. There we go. Okay, let's go up here. Let's see if we can make it across. Oh, that's a tight gap, but it looks like there is the possibility of getting inside there. Yeah, let's get that life capsule. Let's see if that'll get us up to 20. If it gives us plus four like the last one did, it will. No, that one's going to give us five, so we can go up to 21 now. All right. Now let's just go on and, you know what, let's get the high ground. Let's try to get up here a little bit, and then we'll see if we can take the bats out from up top. We're probably way overcomplicating this, but you know what? Those bats are a thorn in my side, so we're just going to deal with them like this. And that last bat is still just not wanting to die, you crud! Let's get killed, bro! There we go. Okay, let's not fall into the spike pit of death again. Just gotta take care of these bats. You know what? I think this weapon's gonna be better for that. I was- I think that's what happened last time, was I was- I was focusing- uh, focusing way too hardcore on the fireball. We've gotta use all of our weapons to, for different things. Like right now, if I want to shoot up, probably should use a different weapon than the fireball. There we are. Let's go check out what's inside this building right here. Oh, there's Chaco's house. Okay, that's what we were looking for. Yeah, I can't believe I confused the assembly hall with this place. Let's go save right here. There's no healing point, but let's go talk to Chaco. Hi, how may I help you? Wow, that thing you have there looks quite dangerous. I wonder, are you a traveler? Something like that. You see a hole on the other side of the billowing flames. You can't get past the fire. Oh, but maybe, maybe Chaco will help us. I think this might be a shortcut back to the assembly hall though. So for that, you're going to need to get a bit of jellyfish juice. The big jelly has it. All right, let's go hunt down the big jelly and see if we can get some jellyfish juice here. Oh, well, suddenly jellyfish. Okay, let's go back to this guy. Uh, did either of those drop anything? Does not look like it. Oh, get out of here, bats. Get out of here. Uh, can I get up there? I don't know if I can. It doesn't seem like I can, unless I can rocket jump. I'm not sure if this game has rocket jumping. Hold on, let me try to shoot a little closer to the ground. No, I don't think this game has rocket jumping, so we're gonna have to find some way to get the jellyfish juice. But I don't know how. Maybe one of these jellyfish is gonna have it. I'm just backtracking a little bit. It seems like there's more jellyfish enemies here, so we might just have to keep backtracking and eventually we'll stumble across it. And I am doing so bad at avoiding these hits right here. Okay, come here, mister. Just rapid fire! Yeah, before they get to drop on you. There you go. And got him. Cool. So yeah, there's a lot of jellyfish up in here, so the big jellyfish is probably somewhere over this way. I'm just gonna keep shooting. I think... I, I like the fireball a lot. Oh yeah, it looks like the big jellyfish is up there. But I like the fireball a lot, but I still think that by far my favorite weapon is the base one. It just has such good speed and such good accuracy, so... I don't know, I like it. Alright, let's grab these guys, go up here, get this guy out of the way, jump across, and I think once we get that taken care of... Ooh! Let's just keep shooting! And there we go, we've got a treasure chest here, hopefully that has the juice we're looking for. And there it is, the jellyfish juice! Okay! So let's take that and go back to Chaco's place. See if we can douse that flame, or the fire. I don't know why we couldn't just use the uh, gosh dang water that was right outside of his house, but I guess it's just not strong enough. So let's go inside here. 
And I guess what we'll do is actually go to the save point. I'm thinking this is not going to be a portal back to the assembly hall. I think it's just going to take us uh, back to the other side of the map right here. Like, let me go outside here and tell you what I'm talking about. See at the top right, I think it's just going to let us go through there so we can continue the zone. Pretty sure that's all it's going to be. Nothing too fancy. But let's go talk to him. Did you get the jellyfish juice? I sure did. Although you can carry only one jar of jellyfish juice, you can get it over and over again from the jellies. Okay, let's go use it. I wonder if I can use that... Oh, I bet you that's what I do. I have to get more juice, and then I can use that back at the assembly hall to probably get, like, a life capsule or something. I bet you that's what it is. Okay, let's just kill these guys off. Oh, get over here. Thank you. Oh, boy. Okay, let's just... Try not to fall in these pits. This game is dangerous, man. I mean, it, it does give us a lot of save points, which is nice, but... Man, I just feel like I'm in constant danger in this game. Which, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe having a good sense of danger is, uh... Good for a game like this. Ow! Oh, that's a bad guy. Well, I thought it was like a tombstone or something. Uh, there's a save point in there, which we can't reach. Ooh. Can't do anything there, can we? No, nothing with that. Let's go over to the left. We've got a little building here. This is power supply room. Let's go check it out. Or not. It's locked. We can't go that way. Okay, let's continue this way instead, then. Kill off some bats. I could use that health. Ooh, we got Mr. Frog up there. Just kill all these guys off. Oh gosh, I think when they kill you, that's when they shoot that huge fireball at you. Uh, is this death? No, I guess it's fine. Oh no, it's it's not even when you kill them. It's just when you get when you shoot them. So we've got to be very careful with how we shoot them here. What if I use a better weapon on this? Yeah, it looks like that works. Ow, you crud, stinking frog! Okay, we got him. Is that guy gonna shoot towards me? No, they shoot the direction they're facing. So I guess one way to take them down would be to get behind them. Man, I, I need some kind of healing point, because I am doing really bad on health right now. Uh, I guess we'll just take out these bats real quick. Oh, and of course they drop health that I can't reach. I'm not sure if this game has a way to, like, magnetize the health towards you. Let's go inside here and see if we got to heal. Uh, we do! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we're going to heal up here. Let's go over to the save point. Drop down to save as well. Let's go back out. Oop. Okay, enemies respawn when you go back and forth in the rooms like that. Okay, we can sneak up this way. Ooh! Mr. Froggy! Mr. Froggy! The Froggies I thought would have a lot more HP, but I think, I guess they have 12, so just a few shots will take them down. And we got a treasure over here, and this is a max missile increase! Wow! Okay, once again, uh, shades of Metroid right here. Let's see... Ow! No! Froggy! No! Die, mister! Whew. Those are like the most dangerous enemies, because it's like, yeah, you can control when they attack you, but... Not very good at doing stuff like that. Oh, there we go. We'll just do that. Boom. Easy peasy. I don't think we can climb these chains. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Ow! If I could not jump directly on it, I'd probably do a lot better here. Oop. I always forget about those pits. You gotta watch out for that stuff. I think that's one of the good uses of the fireball weapon, is you can actually see where, uh, where the pits are. I mean, you can just visually see them as well. Oh, boy. Let me see if I can do anything with this crud. It's some kind of bike. It kind of looks like something out of Battletoads but I'm not sure if that's what that's meant to be a reference to. I keep seeing these little points right here, but I don't know what to do with those. They, they look important, but I can't tell. Okay, let's try going inside this building here. Uh, we can go inside the execution chamber. Oh. Oh, great. I'm back in the execution chamber. I'm going to try not to get executed this time, so let's just shoot and run. Are these like thwomps? Are they going to go back up? No, I guess that's it. Okay, so we've got to like shoot and move. Oh, wow. I can kill him. That works! Wow! Sick! So we can go up here and grab the life capsule. And I don't know if that guy down there is blocking the door. I guess I can just go to the side and shoot him a bunch. That'll probably work. Heck, it looks like I almost had to do that. Could I even reach the top without, uh, without doing that? No, I actually had to jump on that guy, so that worked out pretty nicely. Alright! So we're done with the execution chamber. Let's not go back inside that scary place. Let's just go to the side and hopefully not get killed by the spikes again. Like a dweeb. I should probably go back and save so I don't have to do that stuff again, but I'm not very smart. Smartness is not my strong suit. Okay, let's jump across here. Okay, we've got a save point up there. I can just get to it. Let's talk to this guy. The fans have been stopped. Someone turned off the power. If you want to turn them back on, look for the power supply room. I found that room. I just don't know how to use it because it's kind of turned off. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to jump up there. Uh, crud. 
No! One thing I noticed going through this time is like right here, there's like someone asking for help. There's someone in that crevice. Hey you boy! I need to get out of here. Would you um please help me? Okay, we'll help him. Please take this. Oh, and we get the rusty key, so we could probably use that to go back to the uh, power supply room. Alright, go ahead and use it if you can. I don't know if that's for this. There's no keyhole, it seems to be rusted. Well, the rusty key was also rusted, but you know, let's just go along this way. We're gonna try to save again. Oh no! Well, I leveled down. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back, because I want to go back to the safe, but before we continue backwards, because I'm very good at dying. That's like the one thing I'm really good at. Okay, we're all healed up, we're all saved. Let's go back to the power supply room, see if that's what we have to do here. So the room is- oh, okay, I could have made it back to the room, it's just right here. So here we can use the rusty key, go inside. We've got this little dude. It's a robot, looks like it's not powered on. Okay, let's go over to the main supply thing here. Fan power supply offline. Malco power supply offline. Turn power on. I guess we're turning the power on. I'm not sure if that's going to be a killer robot or a friendly robot. Let's hope it's the uh, friendly variety. Oh! Maybe it's just the mass explosion got Intruder sighted! Terminate it! Terminate immediately. Okay! Oh yeah! This is definitely not the friendly robot. Did you know that the Mimi guy I found wasn't Sue? Yes? Yep! She wasn't Sue. Because of that, the doctor was extremely upset. Misery received quite the beatdown. Pity, since she's just a girl. Well, the master can't be disobeyed, so that's our fate. This time I'm here to break you for real. Better prepare yourself. Nope. Not gonna get broken for real, bro. I think you're gonna get broken, bro. Uh, actually, let's go over to some missiles here. Let's just use as many as I can, at least. Or just waste them all on his bubbles. There we go. Oh! Oh, take all my missiles! Well, I got a few of them in there. Not gonna be a whole ton. Actually, you know, let's go back to the fireball. I'm not even sure that's gonna be good for this fight. Does not seem like it is. Maybe he's like weak to it or something. Oh, okay, okay, let me out of here. Just gonna keep using this weapon then. I think this weapon's totally fine. We don't even get hurt if we touch them. We just have to dodge the bubbles, shoot a bunch, and we'll be fine. Now, like I said before, you can only uh, have two bullets on screen at once. So because of that, it's probably a good idea to get pretty close, although that's going to make things really dangerous against this attack, so maybe not. Oh, please, dude, I'm down to level one. No! Oh, six health left, six health left! Oh my gosh, we got him. I was so close. What are you? I'm... I think I'm a human, I don't know. Defeated Balrog! Hooray! Well, with that, I guess we can move on. I think the fans are back on. Do you want to pull its body out? Uh, sure. <laughs> Thank you. You are a good person, and on top of that, so strong. Thank you for saving me. I would like to do something for you to express my gratitude, but with that said, I'm only capable of making bombs. You want to open the rusty door? What? Someone is trapped inside. You definitely are a good person. I understand. Let us make a bomb then. We will demolish that door. Please locate the following materials for the bomb. Charcoal, jellyfish juice, and gum base. Let us make the bomb once and all. The materials have been amassed. Oh gosh, where am I going to find all this stuff? I know where the jellyfish crud is. But it looks like we can use these things to boost now, that's awesome. So I want to use that to boost over to the save point, and save after all that crud. Let's go from here, see if we can fan over. I think we have to like jump into it to get the max boost, there we go. Okay, so we'll jump down in here, I definitely want to save again and heal up again. Because I do not want to die. Okay, let's go through here. I need to level up this weapon, because this crud, I just lost like all of it. Ah, oh, jeez. This is not going to be easy to level back up. And of course he drops no experience. We gotta go look for more fans that are activated. I guess that's one of them right there. But yeah, I'm really not sure uh, where to get all that stuff. The gum base and the... What was, I don't even remember what the other part was. I know we need gum base and jellyfish juice. There was one other thing too. It sounded very important. But let's go inside this building here. This is the Bushlands Hut. Well, at least there's a treasure in here. Open the treasure chest. Max missiles increased by five. Oh, crud! Oh my, you have got to be kidding me right now. Why the heck is he even here? Okay, at least it seemed to be weak to fire. Okay, well, that's, that's all done. There's nothing there. All right. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna move on and pretend that never happened. Uh, I guess we'll just keep using fire on these guys. And on Mr. Froggy. That is one thing I like a lot about the fire. Even though it's kind of hard to aim, I think it's got some of the best damage. It's really good. I mean, I think the uh, the missiles have a little bit better damage, but you do have to worry about ammo with those, where the fireballs, you don't. So, it's got that advantage over it. So right there is a fan that is activated. I guess we'll use this fan to boost up to the save point, if I can. And then we'll use that fan to try to jump across. So we'll save here before we go do the jump pit of death spikes. 
Oh, get up there. Okay. So let's see if we can do this. Oh, almost. We almost made it, guys. Let's go back and try again. Okay, let's go. Yes, we made it that time. And back over here, we've got some hearts, which I could use. Also, it's got some missiles. There's got to be something else, right? No, is this really it? That's all that's up here? Okay, I mean, I guess I can use that stuff, but it's not ideal. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, we're making it. Yes, let's go inside this room. It seems to be locked. Gum is written on the door. So we need more gum. Where do we find all this crud? We need gum. We need uh, the jelly crud. Oh, jeez. But all right, guys. I know this episode's a little bit shorter than 30 minutes after all the cuts, but I have been playing for about 35 minutes. And the reason I'm stopping now is my throat is just killing me, guys. I've been doing commentary on different videos all day. And that's, I'm at about my limit here, so we are going to call things a day here. I'll see you guys next week. Definitely let me know where all those materials I need are, and we'll try to get that. And hopefully we can have a bit of a longer episode next week. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Take care!